Hello everyone, Akash here. You know, people always ask me, is it a good idea to get a gap insurance? There's a few situations that good idea to have a gap insurance and many situations that you should not have a gap insurance. You know, I probably bought more than 12 cars over the last 20 years living in New York, but you know, I think I had probably once, only once I had a gap insurance because that time I bought a brand new car. But you could check out a video that why it's not a good idea to buy a brand new car. You know, I'm in North America, so US market is a little different than maybe, you know, like other places. But based on my experience, I'm telling you what the gap insurance is. Say you bought a car, you bought a brand new car for $30,000 and you just drive, you drove home. That car most likely lost value 20% right there because, you know, it's now it's considered as a used car. It's no longer a new car because, you know, is dealer sold it as a new car, $30,000. If that car value 20% goes down because you drove it home, so that's like $6,000, right? 20%, that's a huge number. So you just lost $6,000 in the first day of driving that car. I'm not saying every car depreciate value 20% right there, but average, that's what it is. So that is a huge difference. So basically what the gap insurance do, that in case you got into accident, on your way home buying a brand new car or anytime you do whatever the value the cash value of that car that was the insurance company gonna give it to you insurance company gonna put it in okay this car is a used car you bought it blah 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 these days this is worth twenty four thousand dollar but you finance that car from the dealer for thirty thousand so now you got twenty four thousand dollar to pay the dealer now the six thousand dollar where that six thousand dollar gonna come from is gonna either if you have a gap interest that will cover it or you have to pay from your pocket that's exactly what is gap insurance is so i would say if you're buying a brand new car it's a good idea you know people don't nowadays the cars is not thirty thousand anymore you know you even buy some like you know japanese honda or toyota or anything camry or anything nothing is thirty thousand dollars it's thirty five forty thousand dollar if you're getting in a bmw or you know mercedes or anything it's like fifty sixty seventy hundred thousand you know or more so basically if you're buying a brand new car and high-end car it's a really good idea to have it because the depreciate value is so so big that you know that you might not be able to pay yourself so it's better to have that gap interest but let's see if you're buying a used car you're buying a ten thousand fifteen thousand twenty thousand dollar used car so those car already three years older right so then the car already dep depreciate the value so much that it's not worth of having paying extra money for the gap insurance or warranty you know the, there's a video you could check it out a really nice video that why sh do you really need a warranty in a car in a brand new car when you're buying the manufacturer gives you warranty but when it's a used car it's more likely something gonna break down but in a north america us i had such a bad experience with those uh, warranty people you know like they tell you oh you have a deductible you have this issue we don't cover this we don't cover that or oh, the even you go to a mechanic they tell you oh you cannot do it today or you have to our guy's gonna come and check out the price there's so much hard time they give you so it's not worth it if you have a used car, it's not definitely not worth it. Paying two thousand fifteen hundred dollar for, or, uh, like, uh, in a warranty or anything. So the gap insurance, I would not recommend for if you have a used car, you know, ten twenty thousand dollar. But if you're buying a high end car, expensive car, brand new car, is definitely worth having it. Because I have a friend and he had the same issue. He bought a brand new Mercedes, not even three years ago, and that car depreciated value like. 30 percent already and his car something happened with his engine something happened and it didn't cover the dealer didn't cover manufacturer didn't cover and now the you know he didn't have a gap insurance so think about what kind of situation he is in also if you go so, into the dealer and if you especially if you go to a used car dealer trying to buy a car and they're definitely gonna offer you the gap insurance. They're gonna tell you, oh, you should take a warranty. This car has a mileage, 50, 60, 70,000 mile already. Get a warranty. They will tell you, get a gap insurance. If you're buying a used car, you don't want it. You want your monthly payment to be as low as possible. So you could pay month by month because you're gonna have the car for five years. And so you want to do that. You don't want it to get another, like you see a $15,000 car and, and you end up coming out of there with that car with 20,000, paying for 20,000 because all the gap insurance, warranty, and plus they're gonna try to sell you some other things. So don't, it's not, don't fall for it. If you're buying a used car, just get the car, lowest interest possible, 
and just get out of there as soon as possible make sure the car try to get i always give tell people try to get as low mileage per your own car as possible as lower the mileage is less likely something going to break down on that car and only have thing you have to worry about it is the monthly payment and pay it off as soon as possible so then you could get a liability insurance and go for it so hope this video was helpful to you please hit the like button thank you so much